here we have a function machine. In a function machine, you put in a number, which is called the input, and then it goes through the processes in the machine, and then the number out is called the output. So in this function machine, we put a number in, we multiply it by two, and then plus five, and then we get the output out. The first question says find the output when the input is four. So we're gonna put four into the machine, so we're going to multiply it by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 times 2 is 8. Then we're going to add 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. So the output is 13. 4 times 2 and then plus 5 gives us 13. Part B, find the output when the input is negative 10. So we're putting negative 10 in. So negative 10 times 2 is negative 20. And then negative 20 plus 5, negative 20 up 5 is negative 15. So the output is negative 15. Part C says, find the input when the output is 19. So 19 is coming out of the machine. What went in? So to find that out, we can go backwards. So if we're going backwards, we're going to do the opposite of plusing 5, which is taking away 5. So 19 take away 5 is 14. And then we're going to do the opposite of timesing by 2, which is dividing by 2. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. So the input must have been 7. So if we went forwards, 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So find the output when the input is 9. So we're putting 9 into the machine. And this machine says times by 3 and then take away 4. So 9 times 3 is 27, then 27 take away 4 is 23. So the output is 23. Find the output when the input is negative 2. So we're going to put negative 2 in. So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then take away 4. So negative 6 take away 4. Negative 6 down 4 is negative 10. So the output is negative 10. And part C, find the input when the output is 17. So 17 is coming out of the machine. What went in? So we can undo it by doing the opposite. So the opposite of taking away 4 is adding 4. So add 4 onto 17 gives us 21. And then the opposite of timesing by 3 is dividing by 3. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. So the input must have been 7. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 take away 4 is 17. Here is another example. So this time the machine says divide the input by 4 and then take away 1. So find the output when the input is 4. So we're going to do 4 divided by 4. How many 4s make 4? That's 1. And then take away 1. Well that's 0. So the output is 0. Part B. Find the output when the input is negative 12. So we're putting negative 12 into the machine. So we're going to divide by 4. 12 over 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. And then we're going to take away 1. Negative 3 take away 1 is negative 4.
and part C says find the input when the output is 23. So we're going to do the opposite. So the opposite of taking away one, we're going backwards. So the opposite of taking away one is adding one. So that's 24. And the opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So 24 times 4. Well, 20 times 4 is 80. 4 fours are 16. 80 and 16 make 96. So the input must have been 96. 96 divided by 4 is 24. Take away 1 is 23. And one for you to try, so give this one a go. Find the output when the input is 16. So we're putting 16 into our machine. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And then we're plusing 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Find the output when the input is 4. So we're putting 4 in. And we're doing 4 divided by 8. So what's 4 divided by 8? We could say it's 4 over 8, which is the same as 1 half, or 0 0.5. So we could say 4 divided by 8 is either 1 half or 0 0.5. Then we're plusing 2. So 0 0.5 plus 2 is 2.5. So the output is 2.5. Part C, find the input when the output is 1. So we're going to do the opposite. So we're going backwards. So instead of adding 2, we're going to take 2 away. 1 take away 2 is negative 1. And then the opposite of dividing by 8 is multiplying by 8. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. So the input must have been negative 8. And here we've got some formulas expressed in words. So the example says a taxi fare is calculated using the rule. £2.50 per mile plus a fixed charge of £3. So you can think of this like a function machine. So you're going to put in the distance. If you put in the distance... You're going to multiply it by £2.50. And then you're going to add on £3. And you're going to get an output of the cost. So find the cost of a four-mile four mile journey. Find the cost of a four-mile journey. So we're going to multiply it by £2.50. Four lots of £2.50 makes £10, and then we're going to add on the fixed charge, which gives us a total cost of £13. A journey costs £20.50. Find the length of the journey. So this is like saying the output is £20.50. How long was the journey? So let's take off the £3 fixed charge. So that would be £17.50. And then the opposite of timesing by 2.5 is dividing by 2.5. So how many £2.50s make £17.50? That is 7. So it's 7 miles. And a question for you to try. So give this one a go. The time taken to cook a chicken is calculated using the rule. 30 minutes per 500 grams plus 25 minutes. So we're going to take, well, how many lots of 500 grams we've got, times it by 30, and then plus 25 minutes. So how many lots of 500 grams we've got times 30, plus an additional 25 minutes. Find the time it would take to cook a 1.5 kilogram chicken. So this is 1.5 thousand grams, 
or 1,500 grams. So that's, well, we want three lots of 500 grams. Three 500s makes 1,500. So it's three times 30, which is 90, plus an additional 25 minutes. So that is 115 minutes. 90 and 25 make 115. A chicken takes one hour and 40 minutes to cook. Find its weight. So let's take off the 25 minutes, the additional 25 minutes. Actually, let's change one hour and 40 minutes into minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes. 60 and 40 make 100 minutes. So let's take off these 25. So that's 75 minutes. And it was 30 minutes per 500 grams. How many 30s make 75? 75 divided by 30. Let's simplify this. So we say they're both in the five times table. So it's 15 over six. And they're both in the three times table, five over two. So it's 2.5. So we've got 2.5 lots of 500 grams. So that is 2.5 grams. 2 500 grams is a kilogram, a thousand grams. Half of a 500 grams is 250 grams. So we've got 1,250 grams. So we've got two and a half lots of 500 grams. So two and a half times 30 is 75 plus 25 makes 100. And to finish up two questions, so pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. The first question find the output when the input is 9. So we're going to put 9 in. We're going to divide it by 3, which is 3. And then we're going to take away 4. And that's negative 1. So the output is negative 1. Find the output when the input is negative 12. So we're going to divide it by 3, which is negative 4. And then we're going to take away 4. Negative 4 take away 4 is negative 8. Find the input when the output is 5. So we're going backwards. So the opposite of taking away 4 is adding 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9. And the opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. So 9 times 3 is 27. So the input must have been 27. Question 2 says show that there's a value for the input for which the input and the output are the same. So what if we put a number in? Which number do we put in? That means we get the same number back out again. So we could just try different numbers until we get the right one. Or we could use algebra to solve this. So we could say x, a number, times 2. We're going to call that number x. It times 2, and then plus 8 is x. So x times 2 is 2x. And then plus 8, 2x plus 8 equals x. So the input is same as the output. How can we solve this? So if I, well, I want to get x by itself. So if I take x away from both sides, so if I take x away from both sides, I'll get x plus 8 is equal to 0. And then 
if I, so the, our number plus eight is equal to zero. So if we take eight away from both sides, we get negative eight. So our number is negative eight. If you put in negative eight, multiply it by two, that's negative 16. And then plus eight, you get negative eight. So X, our number is negative eight. So you could have kept trying different numbers until you got the right one. It doesn't matter which method you use as long as you get the right answer. So negative eight times two is negative 16 and negative 16 plus eight is negative eight.